In the last unit, we were introduced to policy analysis and program evaluation as methodologies. We looked at why policies exist and why programs exist, and we examined the role of values and normative statements in the work that we do. Uh, we even went so far as to draft some normative statements of what we believe should be the desired end state for some problem that we aim to solve in this course. Uh, in this unit, we're going to build on that work by really getting into this notion of problem definition. And I want to start by just describing um, a, a way to think about problems in our work that um, is going to help us really try to address them. So the, the conception that we're going to use of problems for our work is going to be a, a misalignment between the desired end state that we've defined and the reality that we observe. For example, if I make the normative statement that no individual in Wilmington, Delaware should go unhoused, uh, I've, I've staked a claim, I've, I've laid out my values, I've laid out what I believe should be the case. And I'm going to introduce the observation that there are an estimated 400 individuals currently unhoused in the city of Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, so right away, you can see that there's a problem. Uh, the reality that we're observing does not align with the, the values-driven end state that I've defined. Um, so therefore, the problem statement will be that there are too many people in Wilmington, Delaware who are unhoused. As we go through the rest of this unit, we are going to build on this conception and really define out the details um, because we really truly have to understand our problem if we're ever going to really solve it. 